Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're diving into the wild tales of rappers getting caught up in the wrong hood and facing off against some serious goon. Buckle up, because we have a thrilling lineup of stories for you. Let's kick things off with an unforgettable encounter involving none other than the baby. Our journey starts with none other than the charismatic baby. Picture this, 2018, East Atlanta. The baby was on the set of his music video, vibing to the beats of 21. Suddenly, out of the blue, a group of audacious goons rolled up, trying to rain on his parade. But hey, this is the baby we're talking about, fearless and unstoppable. As tensions rise, the film crew captures every intense moment. The goons start questioning the baby, demanding to see his permission slip for being in their turf. The baby, never one to back down, fires back with sheer confidence. No one signed the permission slip form, he says. One goon gets cheeky, claiming, this is my city, baby. Nobody signed up for Mississippi, but the baby stands his ground, demanding respect. Fortunately, things calm down before chaos erupts. Just a month later, the baby finds himself facing another challenge, this time, in a Walmart. A would-be robber tries his luck, only to be met with self-defense from the baby. The court ruled in the baby's favor, and justice prevailed. Talk about having the universe on your side. Now, let's switch gears and dive into the hair-raising experiences of NLE Choppa and Soldier Boy, who faced their own checks in the urban jungle. But before that, we have to share the heart-stopping moment when NBA young boy found himself caught in the crosshairs while shooting a video in the infamous watch area of LA. Locals were not thrilled with NBA young boy invading their territory, and tensions quickly reached a boiling point. The fearless rapper marched amidst the crowd, repeating, you heard me, Vicky, while a car full of rowdy onlookers yelled at him from the windows. It seemed like a standoff was about to unfold when suddenly an NBA crew member allegedly drew their weapon, causing the car to retreat and the crowd to scatter in a frenzy. Thankfully, no harm came to NBA young boy on that day. But wait, there's more. Later that month, walking down the street, NBA young boy faced another confrontation, this time with a rapper affiliated with the notorious bounty hunter What's Bloods. The tension escalated as heated words flew back and forth. NBA young boy's partner held him back, preventing a full-blown clash. Yet, another video captures them exchanging fiery words at a different location. Whoa, what a roller coaster of adrenaline pumping moments. These rappers sure know how to navigate the treacherous waters of the hood. Will they continue to defy the odds and rise above the challenges? Only time will tell. That wraps up our enthralling episode of Hip Hop Chronicles. Remember, life in the wrong hood can test even the strongest of characters. But these rappers prove that they're not just artists, but warriors who conquer any battlefield they step foot in. Stay tuned for more jaw-dropping tales from the world of hip-hop. Get ready for a thrilling roller coaster ride as we dive into the heart-pounding encounters and street drama that unfolded recently. Brace yourself as we explore the jaw-dropping clash between Young Boy's fearless squad and the audacious NLE Chopper, while also revisiting the unforgettable moments when Soldier Boy found himself in the midst of some intense hit action. Join us on this riveting journey through the streets, where alliances are tested and egos collide. In a thrilling YouTube video, tensions rise as a young Young boy eagerly attempts to confront another individual, only to be held back by his partner. The other person involved seems uninterested in escalating the situation, creating an air of uncertainty. However, before the scenario reaches a resolution, the video abruptly cuts off, leaving viewers in suspense. Fortunately, nothing significant unfolds thanks to the presence of Young Boy's team, who successfully keep the situation under control. Speaking of Young Boy, he boasts a legion of loyal followers worldwide ready to defend him at a moment's notice. This becomes evident when he releases the track Bring the Hook, which takes aim at O'Block and King Vaughn. Naturally, this sparks responses from those close to Vaughn, causing a flurry of remarks and opinions. Adding fuel to the fire, DJ Academics takes to Twitter, asserting that NBA Youngboy is currently in a demon-like state. This tweet exacerbates the situation, prompting Lil Reese to counter by stating that Youngboy is merely rapping like other artists without embodying a true demon persona. Elite Chopper joins in, endorsing Lil Reese's viewpoint. By doing so, Chopper openly aligns himself with a specific side in this beef. However, La Chapa fails to recognize the sheer intensity of Youngboy's fan base. While Chapa waits at the airport, preparing to catch his flight, a Youngboy supporter, who happens to be one of the goons, approaches him and films the encounter. 
probing Chapa about his allegiance to La Chapa, the fan persistently questions him. Unable to escape the interrogation, Chapa finds himself in a brief altercation with the individual. Subsequently, Chapa engages in a phone conversation, recounting the incident to someone associated with him. Judging from the footage, it appears that Chapa manages to avoid being knocked out. In fact, he addresses the situation on social media, confidently highlighting the difference between being struck and falling versus engaging in a fight while wearing flip-flops and tumbling due to one's own imbalance. Chapa asserts that he threw punches before being hit, emphasizing his resilience during the altercation. In an interview with Revoked, Chapa briefly discusses the incident, shedding light on how things unfolded. Not willing to indulge in unnecessary theatrics, Chapa dismisses claims that he was frightened and states that he confronted the situation head-on, landing blows on his opponent. Meanwhile, Quando Rondo finds himself embroiled in controversy following his involvement in the passing of King Vaughn. However, this isn't his only encounter with street-related issues. In 2019, Quando allegedly faced scrutiny from individuals associated with the Hoovers in LA. Despite previously claiming affiliation with the 60s neighborhood, Quando informed the Hoovers at the mall that he had no allegiance to any particular group him to evade any immediate consequences. Later, a picture surfaces, capturing Quando flashing gang signs in Los Angeles. Sean Martin takes to Instagram, seizing the opportunity to publicly call out Quando for his contradictory action. In August 2022, while Quando was in LA, three gunmen ambushed him, opening fire. Miraculously, Quando managed to escape unharmed, but tragically, his associate Pap succumbed to the attack. In response, Quando shares a post on his Instagram story, expressing his intention to leave the dangerous lifestyle behind. Grievously affected by the loss of his close friend, Quando chooses to distance himself from individuals who are not genuinely supportive. He emphasizes that he won't engage in superficial interactions or alliances, prioritizing those who are loyal. Despite facing ridicule on social media for his decision to leave the Crips, Quando's primary focus remains his music and steering clear of street-related conflicts. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this captivating video. But before we move on, let's delve into the incident where goons attempted to confront Little Baby. However, we must first address Soldier Boy, who always seems to attract drama. In 2017, amidst a feud with Chris Brown, Soldier Boy sought to prove his street credibility by live-streaming his presence in the hood. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned, as he encountered resistance and was promptly checked by another individual. Although Soldier Boy attempted to engage in a physical altercation, the video ends before any significant developments take place. This isn't the only instance where Soldier Boy faced confrontation. In 2019, a video surfaced of Casanova confronting him after a chance encounter. Prior to the confrontation, Soldier Boy reportedly yelled at a woman, drawing Casanova's attention and prompting him to intervene, escalating tensions between the two. Casanova is just chilling with his crew, when suddenly, things take an unexpected turn. But don't worry, it's nothing serious. The soldier and his crew handle the situation like pro. Now, let's move on to another crazy incident, this time in St. Louis. Enter little baby, preparing for his show, lacing up his shoes. But oh no, trouble finds him. Some goons start talking crazy, catching baby off guard. But what does our hero do? He responds with style, dropping some clever lines that leave the goons bewildered. You see, they were originally mad because Baby was in their hood, not giving them a heads up. Baby holds his ground, and thankfully, things don't escalate. Phew. Now, let's shift our focus to TJX6, the notorious scam rapper from Detroit. Back in 2019, he gained massive popularity with his track Dark Web, where he spilled the beans about stealing identities and committing credit card fraud. He even filmed himself dropping checks at Wells Fargo. Well, it seems TJ's scamming days caught up with him. A few years ago, he made a risky move by posting Little Baby's ID on Instagram, boasting about how he would get rich off Baby's name. Fans, however, warned him to take it down, reminding him that Baby is well respected in the streets. Did TJ listen? Nope. He kept it up, and boy, did he regret it. Fast forward a few days later, TJ finds himself shopping at Lenox Mall in Atlanta. Suddenly, a pack of goon storms towards him. A viral video captures TJ running for dear life, with the goons hot on his heels. Although nobody was armed, TJ decides to stay safe and escapes the outnumbered situation. 
He hops on IG Live and makes it clear he won't stick around to get hooped. Smart move, TJ. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the infamous 6 9 On March 21st, 2023, 6 9 is hitting the gym at an LA Fitness in Florida. Little does he know, trouble is lurking nearby. A group of goons spot him and follow him into the bathroom. Suddenly, chaos erupts as they start jumping him. It's a wild scene, and no words are exchanged. It's just an all-out brawl. This incident doesn't go unnoticed, with many rappers chiming in. Boozy, never one to hold back, makes a hilarious post saying, LMAO, snitches get stitches. And he's not alone. Several other rappers join in the laughter, cracking jokes about the situation. You can bet that New York rappers will have a lot to say about this too. So, there you have it, the wild and unpredictable world of hip-hop, where every day brings a new adventure. Stay tuned for more unbelievable stories, because this is just the tip of the iceberg. Until next time, keep it locked and enjoy the ride. Thank you all for joining us today on this thrilling exploration of rappers' encounters with street goons. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way. Until next time, stay safe and keep those beats bumping.